Mongolian comes to this match from the semi-finals where he lost obviously to uh, Haidarov who we will see in a couple of matches time so Kim in the white sender cheer of Mongolia in the blue for the bronze medal both are very strong fighters I watched their preliminary fights Kim came here with six previous fights and most of them were very long matches so he must feel exhausted by now and sent Okir also had five fights and toward the quarterfinals and ripper charges he also had some long fights Failed attack on the feet. Now you can see Mongolian working on the ground. And you know, in these big weight categories like under 73 kilograms division, usually all the fighters who make to the final have had many fights. the under 73 kilos the, the actual weight range is 66 to 73 kilos so potentially you could be uh, giving up what seven kilos to your opponent oh, the Korean just can't make that count that was almost unlock and Kim manages really well to get out of it in time. So in judo, if you pick up your opponent off the ground when you're in ground fighting position, then they will stop and reset the match. You can see Ten Oak here is working on some kind of turnover. The arm lock. But Kim is very aware on the ground too, so he doesn't get caught easily. from Kim so both opponents evenly matched here the Mongolians picked up a penalty but they've got just over a minute to try and break down the man in front of them Quick fighting there. Well, then pushing forward. And Kim drops down for technique and gets it. And it's an Epon for the Korean. Choi Guan Kim just pulls off that throw. And the Mongolian is distraught really really disappointed with himself he was pushing forward a little bit unnecessarily and he got caught because he was pushing forward a little bit too much Kim took advantage of that forward motion
So the People's Republic of Korea claim their first judo medal at this Universiade and it's bronze thanks to Joy Gwang Kim. So good performance from him at the Asian Games and uh, a terrific performance here as well. Yes. And you feel that he's definitely on the ascendancy. Uh, we don't see uh, fighters from North Korea very often and they do come out and put on a strong show. You see this is the last action. So did Trikumagoshi, sleep fishing, lifting throw. And you can see Kim just kept driving that. He had control of both sleeves. And Tim Okir had no answer to that. And Tim Okir trying to arch his back so that it wouldn't it wouldn't hit the mat and right. wouldn't give away that Ippon. Exactly. But then he had to be careful too because if they see as a head bridge, they will automatically give Ippon to avoid people.